quickly create a charming curve border template using a simple selection and the shear filter. Hi, this is Karen from Digital Scrapper, the very best place on the web to find complete and professional instruction for digital scrapbooking. We help you get your stories told. This video is being filmed in Photoshop Elements, but the instructions are exactly the same for Adobe Photoshop users, except where noted. In expert mode, the first step is to create a new 12 by 12 inch document at 300 ppi with a white background. In the Layers panel, click on the Create a New Layer icon. Press the letter D to reset the color chips to the default of black over white. Get the rectangular marquee tool. In the tool options, click on the New Selection icon, set the feather to zero, and the aspect to fixed size. Photoshop users set the style to fixed size. Set the width to 4 inches and the height to 12 inches. On the document, click near the top center. Press Alt Backspace, Mac users Option Delete to fill the selection with black. Press Ctrl D, Mac users Command D to deselect. Next, in the menu bar, choose Filter, Distort, Shear. In the dialog box, click at the intersection of the vertical line and the first dotted line. Drag approximately a third of the way into the box to the left. Then click at the intersection of the vertical line and the third dotted line and drag approximately a third of the way into the box to the right. Set the undefined area to wrap around and then click OK. To position your shape within your document, get the Move tool. On the document, hold down the Shift key and click and drag directly on the shape to reposition it on the left edge of your document. Holding down the Shift key while clicking and dragging makes sure that the item, in this case the border, maintains its horizontal and vertical position. Now, we could stop here with this one border shape, but let's create a layered border. Press Ctrl J, Mac users Command J to create a duplicate of the shape layer. In the Layers panel, hold down the Control key, Mac users Command key, and click on the thumbnail of the duplicated layer to get a selection outline. In the menu bar, choose Edit, Fill Selection, use 50% gray, and click OK. Use the left arrow key on your keyboard to nudge the shape a little bit to the left. Press Ctrl D, Mac users Command D to deselect. The next step is to crop and save your document. Press Ctrl A, Mac users Command A to select the entire document. In the menu bar, choose Image, Crop. Press Ctrl D, Mac users Command D to deselect. Save the template as a PSD with a unique name. Here's a scrapbook page I created using my new curved border template. For help clipping papers to the layers of your curved border, check out a scrapper's guide to clipping in our free Fundamentals class. This class is free, but it does require a classroom account. So that's how you quickly create a charming curved template border using a simple selection and the shear filter. This has been Karen Schultz for Digital Scrapper.